This video is for topic area two, market research to target a specific customer. And this is 2.4 types of data. Quantitative data is when the data is numerical in nature. In other words, you can quantify the data. You can put it into some sort of numerical order. The benefits of using quantitative data are that you can create graphs, it's easy to collate the data, and you can manipulate and perform calculations with the data. In other words, you can take the numbers and easily put it into charts and graphs. It's easy for you to put the data into some sort of order and put it into tables. And you can also perform things like calculations of the average, the totals, um, percentages and so on. The drawbacks are that you don't have any real detail in the answers. So you might know how many people like something, but you don't know why they like it. So the other drawback is you know the what, but not the why. So for qualitative data, this is data that is not numerical in nature. It's usually in detail and is people's thoughts and opinions. It's often very different responses for different people. So the benefits of this are that you can find out in-depth feedback about your chosen topic that you are researching into. The other benefit is it gives explanation and the rationale behind their answers. The drawbacks is it takes a long time to collate and to actually collect the information in the first place. The other disadvantage is it's difficult to actually show in a kind of succinct fashion what people's responses actually are. So you can't just put them into charts and graphs and it's difficult to show lots and lots of people's responses in a short method. So at this stage, if you are still a little bit confused, the easiest way to understand something is to look at examples. So for a survey that we could give out about people's favorite ice creams, if you asked some questions that are gonna give you quantitative feedback, they would be usually multiple choice questions. So for example, are you between this age range and another age range? So are you between 0 and 10? Are you between 11 and 15? Are you between 16 and 20? If you tick one of those boxes, then you can quantify the results. You can say, well, 10 people were this age, five people were this age, and five people were this age. It makes it easy because it's numerical data. Same thing for the favorite ice cream question. So if you just say, choose your favorite ice cream, if you leave that as an open question, then technically you are gonna get qualitative responses because people can write in anything that they want. It could be a full sentence with a big explanation or it could just be one word and you would get all sorts of different responses. That would make it quite difficult for you to quantify and difficult for you to show the results. But with quantitative data, if you give them choices to choose from and they have to choose one of those options, it makes it much easier for you. And you can put the results into a chart like you can see here. So you can see very, very quickly that chocolate is the most popular, then vanilla and then strawberry. But strawberry has got a few other options that have all got the same number. So you can very quickly see which are the most popular and it makes it easy to quantify. But you don't know why people have chosen chocolate. You don't know why they've chosen vanilla and so on. So with some open ended questions, you could say, why is it your favorite? So whichever one they've said, you could say, why is it your favorite? So in this particular example, they've said vanilla is the favorite because they find it difficult to choose from so many different options. So they just go with one that they know is going to be nice. And then why, um, which one is your least favorite and why? I don't like mint and ice cream. It takes, it tastes like toothpaste. 
So you get open ended answers from people, which gives you a little bit more insight into why they've chosen certain options. So looking at this particular example, it should give you an idea of how to create a survey to get the best possible feedback. The way to do it is to have a combination of different types of question. So you have closed questions where they can only choose certain answers because you can make it into charts and graphs and you can easily analyze the results. But you also have some open ended questions to get some more quality feedback. Now, the other types of data we need to be aware of is internal data and external data. And these quite closely link to the type of research that you are doing. So if you're doing primary research, some of the primary research you might be doing is inside your company. And if you're doing secondary research, sometimes some of that data is going to be from external sources. So there is a little bit of a link between the two different types of data. Internal data, you just need to think of it as when you are doing or using data inside your own business. And external data is when you're collecting data from outside the business. So internal data could be your own sales figures, your own financial records. Could also be when you interview or ask questions of your own staff. External data is when you collect it from outside. So this is usually going to be from customers, from other businesses, or from research into the market.